and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for May 23. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones, I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. By the way, right now, the Synthi sale is still ongoing. The flash deal on the military pack ends in less than 48 hours, so if you want it, definitely get it now. I made a nice weapon attachment system that works perfectly with this pack. You can download the free project files. And beyond that, check out the rest of the sale, everything is at 50% off. They've got packs for every game you can possibly think of, so check it out on the link in the description. Oh, and also go ahead and wishlist my upcoming Steam game, Dinky Guardians. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a pretty nice and very useful one called Easy Transitions. It's a collection with a bunch of transitions to make your scene changes a bit more interesting. Everything from a bunch of wipes to some squares and rectangles, or even some noise or brush swipes. This is a great and simple way to add a tiny bit of polish to your game without requiring much effort. Then here's the latest Unity sample, this one is for the Friends package. This is the latest tool for the Unity Gaming Services, which, like the name implies, this one helps you easily add friends to your list to your games. It's still in beta, but it looks quite interesting. You can send and receive friend requests, you can manage friend lists and block or unblock players. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do a tutorial on this one, but if you want to go ahead and get started, then this free sample sounds like a great starting point. Up next, here's a useful tool called Asset Cache. Basically, you can open a window and essentially define some bookmarks for all kinds of objects. So that bookmark can be for a folder or maybe a specific texture, maybe it's a game object in your scene or perhaps a prefab. You just drag them onto this window to create each bookmark, then click on it to quickly select that object. So it's very simple and it works great. Then here's one that I wish Unity had by default, it's folders in the hierarchy. It does exactly what it says, you can create a folder in the hierarchy and use it to organize your game objects. Behind the scenes I assume this is just making some unselectable game objects, but the fact that they are unselectable and have a unique icon and do not show up in the inspector, with that it really makes them act like regular folders. For some nice assets, here are some quirky free animals. They are all very nice and cartoony, it includes 8 animals, all of them with animations and 4 levels of detail, making them mobile friendly. If you like this this style that this tab has tons more packs. Next for another useful tool, here is the editor audio player. You can open this window and then it automatically picks up whatever audio clip you select. With that you can easily manage the volume, which is something you can't usually do in Unity by default. Or you can also queue up some sounds in a playlist, very useful. If you've ever wanted to browse around some sound asset packs that you have, then you know how annoying it is to preview tons of sound objects, so this tool definitely looks very useful. Then if your game involves some fixed positions and you want to quickly move between them, then check out this one. You can basically click to spawn some checkpoints, then you select the player object and press any of the buttons to easily position the player on that checkpoint. This can be quite useful when testing your game if you want to quickly spawn the player in various positions. Up next here is one called Enum Tags. I've mentioned many times how I dislike tags and the reason why I dislike them is because they are string based. With this tool you can still use tags but at least without having to deal with strings. It automatically generates tags inside an Enum so you can access them with code. Now personally I would still not use tags but if you really really want to use them then at least use a simple tool like this one to avoid using strings. For another visual asset pack, here are a bunch of RPG weapons. They are some nice models, in total 13 unique weapons in a slight low poly style. If you like this style, then there is another huge pack with 900 weapons. Or perhaps you need a nice 2D character, so here is Ethan. It's a small pixel art character with 13 animations, so this one could be great for a quick prototype or learning how to work with 2D animations. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for May 23. There's links to all in the description, and also check out my own free and paid ass on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.